Welcome back to the channel. I'm super glad you're here. In today's video, we are going to be rebuilding a 416 cubic inch LS3 short block. Quickly, let's run over the parts we're gonna use in this short block, starting with one of our Smetting 1000 horsepower rated rotating assemblies. This rotating kit's going to include our Smetting four inch stroke crankshaft that's 4340 forged, as well as our power adder H beam, 4340 forged connecting rod, and these nice Icon 2618 coated pistons. They have a skirt coating for anti-friction, as well as a top coating to help protect the piston in extreme heat environments. These also have a really nice ring pack, stainless steel top ring with a Napier hook second for nice oil control. We are also going to be using one of our Smetting forged camshafts. We finally got these in stock. We have about 11 different part numbers that pretty much cover any combination LS you can think of. Rectangle port, cathedral port, we've got some turbo camshafts. So make sure you check these out. I'll leave a link in the description below. This camshaft is gonna be 245, 256 duration at 50. It is our R4 stroker camshaft. The block has already been honed to size to fit these pistons. We put new cam bearings in it. And the first thing we are going to do today is go over main bearing clearance. I have already checked the rod bearing clearance and set my ring gap off camera, but I wanna show you guys how to set main bearing clearance really quick. First step to checking bearing clearance, obviously put the bearings in the block and the caps, and we're going to install everything as if we were running the engine for real. So all the caps need to go correct position, we're gonna lubricate all the fasteners and torque them down to final spec. LS main cap fasteners, guys, are not torque to yield, they are torque to angle. And because of that, you can reuse them. The only bolts in an LS that GM says you should not reuse that are torque to yield are the connecting rod bolts and the cylinder head fasteners. All of these fasteners have already been lubricated with CMD Extreme Pressure Lube. This is what we use whenever we're doing a high torque thread or whenever we need a high torque thread lubricant. Now we're gonna lightly run all the bolts down. And first stage of torquing is only going to be 15 foot pounds. Now we're gonna set our wrench into angle torque mode. And on this LS3 block, we're gonna torque the inners to 80 degrees and then come back and torque the outers to 53. And you wanna hit this in one smooth, continuous motion. The last step now is to install the side cap bolts, which then torque to 20 foot pounds. All right, the block is now ready to be measured, but first we need to set up our dial bore gauge. So first we need to take micrometer and we're gonna zero this mic onto the journal, onto the diameter of the journal. And so off camera, I've already kind of done this a little bit, but basically what you're looking for is you want this mic to just fit over the crankshaft journal. You do not want to have to force it on there. It should not, like if, if I was to let go and it held itself because it was forced on, that's not an accurate measurement. It should glide perfectly over the journal with almost no wiggle room side to side. And so we're gonna get our mic set. And I'm using a Mitotoyo, but you can do this with any mic really. And once we're confident that we have this zeroed on the journal of the diameter, we then take our dial bore gauge and zero it to the micrometer. And I'm using a Fowler dial bore gauge that is accurate up to one ten thousandth of an inch. 
And so we'll adjust it, get it perfectly zeroed in to this dial bore gauge, and then we can come back and check our main bearing clearance. Now this is an aluminum LS3 block. I like to run about 2,000 main bearing clearance on these engine combos. The aluminum block is going to expand and give us a reality clearance of about 2.5 once it warms up. So cold here, we're looking for about two thousandths. And all of these are coming in right on the money. Perfect. So the main pairing clearance is good. I'm happy with it. Now we can take the caps back off and we can finally throw our crankshaft into the block. All right, before we continue any further, we need to set the thrust in the engine. Now, this might scare somebody, but it's totally normal. We're gonna take a big aluminum drift and drive the crankshaft rearward and then back front. Now we'll finish torquing the crankshaft with our angle pattern. Next, we're gonna install the timing gear. Anybody who thinks hammering on the crankshaft to set the thrust is wrong, then what are you doing when you install your timing gear? Because guess what? You hammer on it some more. Our crankshaft, camshaft, timing set, and oil pump are all final installed, torqued, and we are ready to continue moving forward with this build. Next up, we'll be installing the pistons and connecting rods into this engine block. The short block is now fully assembled. We have our full rotating kit in the engine with our smetting camshaft. All we have left to do today is install the timing cover, rear cover, oil pan, and then our Gatorman link bar lifters.
The lifters that I'm gonna use for this engine are the Gatorman Link Bar Hydraulic Roller Lifter. These are an awesome set of lifters that we sell that are a huge upgrade from your typical LS7 lifter with all the plastic trays. Uh, these go for $495 and we recommend them pretty much for any normal, you know, street strip LS combination with a, you know, moderate dual valve spring. And I have never had a single one of these fail with our engines when they're kept within the operating parameters of about 7,400 RPM and about 420 to 430 pounds of open pressure. I don't think I would turn them 8,000 RPM with a 500 pound spring, but for your typical street strip 7,200 RPM motor, these are awesome. I'll put a link for them down in the, the description below. There you guys go. That is a fully assembled 416 cubic inch 6.2 LS3 short block. All rebuilt with our smetting, fully forged internals, camshaft, lifters, pretty much the catalog. This is gonna be a really nice engine combination. In next week's episode, we are going to install the cylinder heads to feed the air that this monster is going to demand. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week.